But the video does show you shoot at them. What if you would if you them? if you hear the audio, you didn't hear the gun go off at all. Hey everybody, welcome to Circuit Court Watch. And right now we've got a really weird video for you. Uh, this was a story, this was several months ago, it's not nothing new. Um, but I just felt like this would have been something fantastic for everybody just to be a part of. Uh, this was an incident where a family of three, including a mother who was pregnant and a child in the back seat, were fired at by an employee at a jack-in-the-box because the customer asked for their missing curly fries. Calamity ensues afterwards. So here's the video. Check it out. Tonight, shot at over an argument about curly fries. That's the allegation in a lawsuit filed against Jack in the Box and an employee. The shooting happened in 2021. But the attorney for the family who was just shot at just released a shocking video. ABC 13's Jessica Willie is live at the restaurant where it all happened, Jessica. Eric, attorney Randall Callanan has scheduled a news conference for tomorrow morning here at the Jack in the Box near Bush Airport. He tells me he recently got this video through a discovery request. The employee has already served her sentence, but in a lawsuit filed by that family from Florida, they say they want to still hold the restaurant accountable. The order a number two with curly fries after a mother and her six-year-old daughter landed in Houston. The father picked them up, placed the order at this jack-in-the-box on JFK Boulevard near Bush Airport. Fifteen minutes later, they were speeding out of the drive through trying to avoid gunfire. In just released video, employee Alania Ford seems agitated with customer Anthony Ramos. He is in the driver's seat, according to a lawsuit. His pregnant wife is in the passenger seat and their six-year-old daughter is in the back. They paid $12.99 for a combo, the lawsuit says, but didn't get the curly fries they ordered. Not even halfway into the dispute, the video shows Ford ready a gun. Minutes later, and with another employee, she throws ice and condiments through the window before firing at least twice at the family. Ford was initially charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, but pleaded guilty to a lesser charge of deadly conduct, got one year deferred adjudication, and completed it, court records show, in June. The family from Florida filed the lawsuit after the guilty plea, claiming Jack in the Box was negligent for not keeping customers safe from potentially dangerous employees. In its original answer, Jack in the Box denied all allegations, writing they have no control over or legal responsibility for a third party like Ford. Her plea also prohibits her from possessing a firearm in the future. The family and their attorney returning to the crime scene for a news conference tomorrow morning. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Now, after watching that, I love that they emphasized that it was a number two with curly fries. I thought that was, thought that was funny. But now we're going to watch where the former employee is asked questions about the situation. Now, that did happen in 2021, but the lawsuit was filed last year years after the young lady responsible for the incident was found guilty. Uh, we'll cover a little bit more about that at the end. Uh, you're going to be absolutely disgusted. She ended up getting her penalty for that. Uh, it would be a, uh, you would think it would be a lot more than what she got, but uh, this is going to be the empl ex-employee who fired the shot at the customers, her comments on the story. Only on 13, the Jack in a Box employee who shot at a customer is telling her side of the story. Yeah, we showed you the shocking video last night. She opened fire on the customers after a dispute over curly fries. ABC 13's Jessica Willie spoke to that woman who no longer works for the fast food chain. Jessica? Yeah, on the same day that that customer and his attorney stood outside that Jack in the Box near Bush Airport to talk about this incident and put pressure on the restaurant. The former employee is defending herself. She claims there is more to this story. She's aiming, she's leaning. She's not just going up in the air trying to scare people. She's trying to kill them. This morning, attorney Randall Callanan and his client, customer Anthony Ramos. Scared, that's for sure. Detailed the controversial curly fry incident and the shooting that followed. It was pointed right at me. I don't know how she didn't get me. And this afternoon, the armed employee on the other side of the dispute 
contacted ABC 13 to respond. I want to clear my name and tell my story. That's not the whole story that they tell it. Alonia Ford Theriot says she worked for Jack in the Box for 15 years, most recently at the location on JFK where she says the job was dangerous. This was her in March of 2021. Ramos says he and his wife ordered a meal combo but didn't get the curly fries. He said we weren't going to get them. That was it. The confrontation escalated to food throwing and Ford says racial slurs, which Ramos denies. He kept saying, oh, you, you going to make my order over. This is the type of talk about behind you. We hate like y'all. She says she asked Ramos to leave. The video captures the gunfire. But the video does show you shoot at them. What if you would if you them? if you hear the audio, you didn't hear the gun go off at all. There is no audio on the video that was released, but according to court records, Houston police did find a spent shell casing. Theria was initially charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, but pled guilty to a lesser charge of deadly conduct and got one year deferred adjudication, which she completed in June. She and the restaurant still face a civil lawsuit. Ramos and his family says they were exposed to a dangerous employee and were traumatized. I served my sentence. I paid my fees. I did what I had to do. What else do you want from me? I can't give you nothing. But an apology if you want that, but I need the same thing. We both need to apologize to each other. And in court filings, attorneys for the restaurant denied all allegations tonight. A company spokesman told me that they remain focused on providing a safe environment for customers as well as restaurant workers. We are live tonight in Southwest Houston. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. And we love that there's more to the story, she says. Uh, she goes on to detail that she never actually fired a shot. Uh, that if you listen to the audio, you won't hear anything. She probably already knew there was no audio, so of course she might be right with that. You're not going to hear the audio. But if you're firing the gun, it's going to discharge a shell. That was absolutely captured on camera. Uh, she couldn't get away with that one, so stupid. Stupid on her part. Um, she was originally charged with aggravated assault, which is ridiculous. Because if you're firing a weapon at someone, I would think that would be attempted murder. I'm no lawyer, but that should be attempted murder, right? So <clears throat> she pled to a lesser charge. You shouldn't even allow them to do that, first of all. And she ended up doing, I believe it was one year community service. Spent zero time in jail. That's law for you, ladies and gentlemen. But hey, thanks for watching Circuit Court Watch. I'm Tom. I am your host with these videos. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below your thoughts on this whole case, and then subscribe if you're not a subscriber. So have a good rest of your day, guys.